Good morning and welcome to our podcast and devotional, Good Morning, Lord. I am Diana Bryant and these devotionals are intended to help you meditate more on the Word of God, put it into practice and start off your week right. The title of today's devotional is Get Closer to God. Today we will be meditating on James 1, 9, 11, a scripture that motivates us to have a humble heart that gets us closer to God. Let's divide this scripture into two parts. First, James 1, 9, 10 says, Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position, but the rich should take pride in their humiliation, since they will pass away like a wild flower. We can understand the definition of the word humble in different ways. One is a person that acts in a modest way. It's a person who does not flaunt her talents. It's a person who understands that every good gift come from God, a person who follows Jesus' steps, a person who understands her position as a servant of God here on earth, a person who has a heart that always seeks to please and glorify God, a person who stays under God's will even when it's hard. For a person in this humble condition, it is much easier to get closer to God and to seek His will. It is important to remember that all material things will stay behind, and what will truly prevail forever are the treasures that God gives us every time we are in His presence. That is the true wealth. According to the Word, a person should be considered rich or poor depending on their humble condition of their heart. If when evaluating your heart you realize that there is humility in it, rest assured that your desire will always be to get closer to God. Regardless of how many talents, gifts, money, physical or spiritual blessings you have, you must always make sure that your mind and heart are aligned to God, to His purpose, to His desires, and to His plans for your life. It is the only way that you will always remain humble in any situation. Every request you bring to the throne of God should be to seek His guidance and will and not for your own benefit. When you're seeking to do God's will and to do it His way, you're showing your humble heart before Him and acknowledging that He can guide every single step. Every decision you make should always be to glorify His name and carry out the purpose for which He has created you. The second part of this verse is James 1.11 and it says, For the sun rises with a scorching heat and withers the plant. Its blossom falls and its beauty is destroyed. In the same way, the rich will fade away even while they go about their business. This scripture reminds us that all material things will pass. Everything we used to hide behind will be removed and eliminated. Some of the things in which we can sometimes hide behind and that can fill us up with pride if we're not careful and that can also end up distracting us from getting closer to God are a position or a title, a promotion at work or earning more money, material possessions, our gifts and talents, our self-reliance, our physical appearance, our ambition, our calling, our dreams and wishes, our bad friendships, the rush and distractions of the world. All these things will pass and will remain here on earth when God calls us to account. The only thing that remains forever is the Word of God and His purpose for our life. For this reason, we shall not let anything fill us up with pride, but on the contrary, always recognize that all good gifts come only from God and our dependence should only be placed on Him. The Word of God promises that the closer we get to God, the closer God will get to us. Our humble heart will always bring us closer to the Lord. Today, I want to motivate you to meditate on this Word by asking yourself the following questions. First, what is the condition of my heart right now? Is it humble or proud? Second, am I hiding behind something that is filling up my heart with pride? Also, I encourage you to put the word into practice this week by doing this. Take a moment and thank God every day for His daily provisions in your life, for all the material blessings, the spiritual gifts, and your talents. Remember that every good gift comes from God. This will get you closer to Him. If you're not yet part of our private group on Facebook, Transform Your Life, I invite you to be. 
There we pray for your needs and we go live every week sharing classes with you that will help you transform your life with the Word of God. I will leave the link in the description where you will be able to find other links that will take you to other valuable content. I also ask that you share this devotional with another lady. Bless her life by letting her know that you thought of her while listening to this episode. See you next Monday at our devotional Good Morning Lord and from Tuesday to Friday in our one-minute inspirational podcast, Wisdom Seeds. God bless you.